Hi, dear crypto investors. In the final week of the autumn, investors had to digest the news on more lawsuits in the crypto industry. Besides, the U.S. monetary authorities are pushing ahead with their crackdown on large crypto exchanges. ECB President Christine Lagarde proposed to found the equivalent of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in Europe. Watch this crypto review to find out how popular cryptocurrencies have traded in the last seven days, what tokens have logged the strongest performance, and what will be placed in a lunar box. On Tuesday, November 28, the US dollar fell to a three-month low against the basket of six major currencies. The main reason behind the greenback's weakness is the prospects of a pause in the Fed's monetary policy that will be followed by rate cuts. With such forecasts and sentiment, the US dollar came under selling pressure. Meanwhile, the capital flow is being redirected also in favor of cryptocurrencies. Yesterday, the US dollar regained its footing and even rebounded to 103 points. The thing is that the greenback's forex rate is very sensitive to comments by Fed's policymakers. On Wednesday, Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin said that the talks about possible rate cuts were premature. Moreover, he noted that the central bank should not give up the idea of further interest rate increases. Nevertheless, most market participants still reckon that the Fed's cycle of monetary tightening is over. That's why the US dollar has been stuck in the, at the lowest level since mid-August. The US currency is on track to finish November with the sharpest monthly losses this year. Bitcoin traded in a narrow range between 36,950 and 37,950 uh, at the end of the last week. The US dollar's fall gave fresh impetus to the flagship crypto. As a result, the token shifted up and managed to test twice 38,437, the highest level of the year. It has grown by 3.8% in the last seven days. Another catalyst for Bitcoin's growth is swelling reserves of stable coins. These tokens are pegged to the fire dollar. They are amassed in anticipation of a sharp increase in Bitcoin demand. Technical indicators reveal that the price of the number one crypto has been rallying steadily since early October. Over this time, the price has overcome long-term resistance, which had been held for 530 days. The crypto community is cherishing hopes that the spot Bitcoin ETFs will be soon approved by in the US. The highly anticipated launch of this financial instrument remains one of the key catalysts for Bitcoin's rally and the uptrend in the whole crypto market this autumn. Such hopes were boosted yesterday by new information. The US Securities and Exchange Commission began conducting polls among the population about spot Bitcoin ETFs. Crypto analysts are certain that such surveys signal the Commission's intention to green light such ETFs in the short run. Since yesterday, another 12 companies have filed their applications for spot Bitcoin ETFs. On Wednesday evening, the 13th company, Swiss-based firm Panda Asset, joined the race. The dates for a final verdict on most of the applications are fixed for March 2024. The regulator has to deliver the, ru the ruling on ARK Invest until January 10. In the meantime, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has been uh, uh, digging uh, into new evidence of Binance monkey business. The popular crypto exchange has been pressed with 13 charges since June 2023. The Commission is not the only U.S. regulator to target the crypto platform. In 2018, the U.S. Department of Justice also suspected the firm in shady pra practices. Recently, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission warned that it was launching its investigation into Binance. The Binance uh, saga surpa surprised crypto investors with a new twist. On November 27th, a class action lawsuit was filed with the U.S. District Court of Florida. 
The lawsuit alleges that the Soka star entered uh, into a sustained and aggressive promotional campaign for Binance, offering and selling unregistered securities. Ronaldo sold at least three of his uh, unique collections of tokens or NFTs linked to the Binance platform. Federal laws require celebrities to disclose the information on their fees received for the promotion of cryptocurrencies. The plaintiffs argue that Ronaldo did not report his gains and abused his influence over 850 million subscribers on Instagram to capitalize his collection of tokens. The claim was filed for $1 million. We can also judge on the popularity of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and collecting among the crypto community through the dynamic of Solana. On the back of elevated commissions on the Ethereum blockchain, Solana looks more advantageous for various apps, including video games, social media platforms, as well as launching and collecting NFTs. To compare, the average on-chain Solana transaction costs just $0.03. It's almost 2,330 times cheaper than on the Ethereum blockchain. Besides, Solana is viewed as preferred asset among institutional investors. No wonder plenty of asset management firms invest in this token. For example, Solana registered the capital inflow worth $40.2 million in the last month. The price has surged by 9.6% in the last seven days, having moved from support at $53.9 to the upper border of the channel at $61.2 per token. Ether has also been growing for a long time since early October. However, the growth is modest. Compared to Bitcoin, Ether finished the last week in a tight range between 2014 and 2019, uh, interrupted by a spike to 2,210 on November 24th. While Bitcoin went up, Ether on the contrary declined and even briefly broke the critical support of 2,000 and tested 1,994. Uh, at the same time, Ether did not update its one-year high of 2140, printed on April 16th. Traders are concerned about high transaction commissions in the last two weeks. In the second half of November, the transaction fee was more than $7 on average. Still, the second popular cryptocurrency is trading at the levels above $2,000. On Friday, November 24th, Ether uh, was the best performing token in the top 10. However, it lost its advantage by Wednesday, November 29th. All in all, the weekly gain was only a 0.1% uptick. The mem crypto Dogecoin is declared the winner this week. The token jumped by 8.5% from November 23rd to November 29th. The price went up from 0 0.0748 to 0 0.0824. The number of crypto addresses holding Dogecoin more than doubled. On top of that, the number of transactions on the Dogecoin blockchain has ballooned by 1,000% in the past 10 days. What lies behind this rally? Curiously, the reason is a, a flight. In mid-November, news broke that a physical wallet with Dodge coins would fly to the moon. The lunar landing should take place on December 23rd this year. It will be carried out by the space company Astrobotic and the MEM coin itself will be delivered to the Earth satellite in a special lunar box. Such news obviously triggered an avid interest in the token futures, so demand has increased by more than 40%. The concentration of the tokens remains a problem because 80% of them are held by fewer than 5,000 addresses. It means that a small number of traders sets the tone for the price of one cryptocurrency. In a broader sense, digital money is exerting more influence in the world of finance. Keep close tabs on crypto markets on InstaForex TV channel. Subscribe to our channel and leave your comments. Our experts are always ready to answer your questions. 
Our crypto review is over. See you online in a week on December 7th.